Now we'll have a go at using our homemade brushes. So I'll start with the fancy one. Um, don't forget to label things before you do it. So what I call this? Feather brush, original. I'm also going to use grass. Um, just a feather. And our bark brush. Capital letters all over the shop there. That's all right. Okay, so we'll start with Fonse. <clears throat> we might use the coffee. I think it'll be least staining. So feather. Not bad. Let's try and do a wiggly line. Very nice. Okay, grass. Mm, drippy. Oh, <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. That's the effect. Wavy. Think maybe I should do one and take off that tip there as well. Just a feather. It smells nice. So I guess you could do a big fat line. We could do a skinny line with that one. Depending on how you hold it. Do a big fat wave. And oh got two ends. Right. Small end first. Scratchy, but nice. And the fat end. Cool. just changed my ink onto a plate now one thing I forgot to say be careful because turmeric this is turmeric could stain will stain all right so this one we're going to use our stamping tools so first off we've got the fig And then we've got um, cotton tips. Then we've got some sticks. And better say this is turmeric. So I didn't put that on the last one. Turmeric. Okay, so first off, fig, the round circle part, getting a bit on there, alright, a couple of dabs off, mm. that's weird, kind of cool, so we might try the other part of the fig and see if we can get a different shape. <laughs> mm, do it a bit less pressure, perhaps. That's better. That's kind of cool. All right. Now, what 
sticks have we got here? We use that blunt end for that stick. Oops, I missed the cotton tips, doesn't matter, we'll come back. Hmm. I think I might have needed to get that a bit flatter. Oh, use more ink perhaps. See, this is why we experiment. Ew. Mm, no. Try again. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Now the cotton tips. So I guess the dot is what you would expect. But I guess you could do patterns. And I might just try the toothbrush on this one too, since we have room. With the edges trimmed off a bit. So I'm gonna try and use the tip of that a bit more than the brush. Not bad. Now, as I suspected, as this is drying, it's going a little powdery. So, well, I'll wait to see when it dries and see if it flakes off. So just to save a little bit of time, I've pre-filled my experiment. So we're going to start with the feather pens with the beetroot. Now, this is the one that I gouged out put a little slit in. Let's just try. Never done this before, ever. Okay, I might just try a little bit more pressure on that. See if I can get a calligraphy line. Mm. Yeah, not really fat and thin, just all the same thickness. Now I'm going to use the feather pen without anything done to it. Just dip it in, see what happens. It's probably easier to work than the other one. Just the same thickness, though. Okay, so the fig pens. I've got this one. And those two ends. So let's try the dodgy one first. Be dodge. <sighs> yep. Split too far, I would say. Other end. Bit of pith still in there. Nice sharp point. Not bad. Yep, like that one. Um, this one has a split, gouged out, bit of pith. Bit more ink on that one, not bad. Okay, thought I had a fourth, I don't. Bark pen, no split. Gouged out a little bit on that end. Start with this one, pointy end, quite like. Okay, flat end. Very nice. But I do have a third bark pen. The round one with the split. Not bad. Not my favourite. 
Now, I haven't done these bark ones yet. Let's see if I can get it kind of in there. Make a, oh, no, broke. Doesn't matter. Put some marks on the side there. Some nice straight lines. The beetroot seems to be going a bit purpley as it's drying. Just kind of cool if you want that. Sometimes they do fade to like a grey. And all materials that are natural pigments will be affected by light. They're not light fast. So don't put them in the sunlight if you want to keep them the same. Okay. Sign off with my favorite tool of the day and my favorite ink of the day.